Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Quentin. And if you're new here, make sure to be subscribed to stay updated with everything crypto related. And more importantly, follow me on X because I am constantly posting things on X way more than here on YouTube. The link you can find that in the description below. In this video, we are going to talk about the potential Ethereum spot ETFs that will be approved on Thursday. The chances of that to happen until yesterday were 25% and right now they are re-evaluated to 75% probability that they will be approved on Thursday. So we're going to talk about what happened, why suddenly this 180 turnaround by the SEC and the Biden administration. And also the price of Ethereum went through the roof, so we're going to have a look at that as well. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. And the first thing I want to show you here is a post of around two weeks ago where President Biden threatened to veto legislation that would allow regulated financial institutions, trusted custodians to custody Bitcoin and crypto, basically to allow banks to hold Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, not only banks, of course, but other financial institutions to hold that for their clients. And Biden personally wanted to veto that. It was, of course, not a good view of the Democrats and their standpoint on crypto, but Biden was going fully against crypto. So basically also the problems with whether Ethereum is a security or not, actually this made the whole case of, okay, Ethereum, spot Ethereum ETFs are more difficult than the spot Bitcoin ETFs because of certain things and also because of the whole um, anti-crypto stand of the Biden administration the probability was as low as 25%. Basically, nobody hoped for an Ethereum spot Ethereum ETF to be approved on Thursday. Now, the Biden administration and the SEC suddenly took a 180 degree turn last night. And suddenly the probability of a spot Ethereum ETF or spot Ethereum ETFs, because there are five on the table of the SEC, the probability of that to happen is suddenly 75%. So now, actually this happened a few days before the deadline, because on Thursday, on the 23rd of May, the final deadline is for one of the spot Ethereum ETF applications. And just as happened with Bitcoin, we can assume that either they will all get rejected, of course they will not get rejected on Thursday, but if the first one gets rejected on Thursday, then the rest will also get rejected, because they will not approve one ETF and then the other ones um, not or the other way around so they will not like reject the one on Thursday and then the other ones they will approve this is, will simply not happen so we will know the answer for all the five most important spot Ethereum ETF applications on Thursday and here is a list of the issuers of this spot Ethereum ETF uh, applications the first one is Franklin Templeton the second one is BlackRock and that is a very interesting one because obviously BlackRock is the, um, the biggest financial institution in the world and also the probability of their ETFs, ETF applications to be approved by the SEC is 99.8%. It was like one out of 570 or something like this that gets rejected. So basically this was already our best shot or our best hope for a spot Ethereum ETF to still happen before yesterday, of course. Then we have Van Eyck, that's, that is actually the one that is, um, that is actually the one that has the deadline on Thursday. Then we have Fidelity and we have Invesco Galaxy. So these five are we watching for Thursday. So either they will get all approved on Thursday or one will get rejected on Thursday and then we know the fate of the other four. So that is how it will go. And now let's have a look at the tweet of Eric Balkunas. I don't know if I butchered his name or not, but Eric, uh, he is a senior ETF analyst for Bloomberg. And basically together with uh, James Stafford uh, to be the top two guys in the world to listen to when it comes down to ETFs, anything about ETFs, the probability calculations, etc. So the best source in the world to show you. But anyway, he said like that uh, James and I increasing our odds of a spot Ethereum ETF approval to happen to 75% up from the 25% that I told you about. And they give a reason. Hearing chatter this afternoon that SEC could be doing a 180 on this increasingly political, political issue. 
So now everyone's scrambling um, like as everyone else assumed they'd be denied. So very, very interesting tweet um, to read. And actually, it makes a lot of sense. Why? Because the Biden administration was very, very anti-crypto. And the SEC was actually also very uh, anti-crypto because, of course, the Biden administration. But now, why is the Biden administration suddenly and the SEC suddenly taking a 180 on crypto a few days before the spot Ethereum ETFs? Several reasons. So first of all, there is a lot of stuff going on within the De Democratic Party because you have two major critics of crypto which are um, Elizabeth Warren, obviously, and Joe Biden himself, who wanted to veto this um, proposal right here, remember? Um, so basically, these two are very, very anti-crypto. There are more people anti-crypto, and obviously, the banking sector has a lot of influence and a lot of sponsorships in the Democratic Party, so it makes sense that they are anti-crypto. Now, what happened is within the Democratic Party, there was unrest um, shaping up because they know that over 10% of the adult Americans, or in other words, American voters, are holding crypto. And also a few days before, um, you had Trump saying that he was very pro-crypto and that he will regulate it, but he will allow it. And basically, this is a trend within the Republican Party that is already going on for a longer time. So Republicans were generally a lot more crypto friendly, while Democrats were basically very anti-crypto. And right now, they're obviously like trembling because of potentially losing the elections in November. The polls are not looking good for Biden, so they need to do something. And this is probably one of the reasons why the Ethereum ETFs will happen on Thursday and why this 180 degree for um, for the spot Ethereum ETFs. So, and that's why this 180 degree uh, on their standpoint on crypto. So basically, in my opinion, it is already too late for the Democrats because most of the crypto voters, they will go for the Republicans because they are already pro crypto for a longer time. So even though the spot Ethereum ETFs might be approved on Thursday, even if this happens, I think most of the over 10% of uh, the voters in the US that hold crypto will vote for the Republican Party because of this. Anyway, um, what I want to show you here as well is the pump of Ethereum um, that happened after this news came out. And I also want to show you that Ethereum is right now a top 25 asset in the world. Again, passing MasterCard, that is, of course, a beautiful thing to point out, um, like a traditional financial um, institution or payment network. And then it gets surpassed by a new Web3 payment network, blockchain, etc. So really nice to see Ethereum enter the top five here of assets in the world. Now, if we have a look at the numbers, it is pretty insane to see. So Bitcoin is also up 6%, but Ethereum is up 18.2% in the last 24 hours with a massive, massive breakout. And if we have a further look here at the market, everything is up quite well. Some are up double digits, but most of them are not up more than Ethereum. So Ethereum is the star of the day, let's say it like that. So all eyes on Ethereum. Now, obviously, if the Ethereum ETF will get rejected on Thursday, then uh, probably we will see quite a big dump because right now the markets are correcting their probability, the probability actually of Eric and, and, and James, um, they are pricing this in. So right now we are pricing in already 75% chance of an Ethereum ETF to be approved or all the Ethereum ETFs to be approved on Thursday. So be careful for a dump. Don't jump on this hype yet. I would definitely wait and see what happens on Thursday. Now, yesterday I tweeted this about Ethereum. So um, it's been a long time since I posted any charts of Ethereum. And funny enough, I tweeted this yesterday, the chart of Ethereum with the falling wedge, which is obviously a bullish um, pattern. And that's combined with this sitting at support level. Now, uh, I also said like the spot each ETF decision on uh, Thursday could help with this very well. So what happened afterwards? Well, this basically like from my tweet onwards, it just bumped 20% uh, and had a breakout out of this falling wedge. So yeah, it's looking good. Um, let's see what happens on Thursday with the potential Ethereum ETF 
to be approved. I keep you guys posted definitely on X, so make sure to follow me there. If you found it an interesting video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed. And then I see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.